done some great things. Sandy Cohen's been getting a lot of attention for his skills on the basketball court, Doug. Yep, the Seymour senior to be. The, we all knew he had a lot of talent uh, the last couple of years watching him play on the basketball court, but now this past this offseason, he's getting a lot of national attention. Marquette's already offered him, Auburn's offered him, Kentucky's even contacted him. This past weekend, I, I caught up with Sandy at the basketball tournament in Kokona, and we talked about what, it, what it's been like this offseason, getting all this attention. Sandy Cohen was drawing attention this past winter, but since his AAU season tipped off, it's reached a new level. And even Cohen has been a little surprised. Uh, I know I had confidence in myself, but I didn't know if I had this much confidence. You know, things went crazy this spring. You know, I, I started getting a lot of publicity, and I got my name out there in the UIBL circuit. You know, it just my name just exploded. You know, it's kind of good knowing that all my hard work that I've been doing finally paid off. Cohen's talent has never been a secret. He always seems to be seconds away from making another highlight. But Seymour coach John Murphy said it's always been about developing Cohen as a player. Anybody can, can see he's a Division One athlete, mm -hmm. and you know his challenge is to become a Division One basketball player and understand the game. And uh, he's come a long way in, in those terms. But uh, you know, you watch him play, and you see the flash and the flare and the dunks and the ability to hit the three. He's got all the pieces, including a three-point shot, something Murphy said didn't exist a couple years ago. You know, he's always been kind of a slasher, get to the rim type of kid, and now he can shoot the three. And you know, we, we've, we've really challenged him to be a complete player. You know, hit the three, get to the rim, have a mid-range game, have, have a post-up game. He's got those pieces. Cohen said his dream growing up was to be a Division I college basketball player. Well, after this spring, there's no question about it. His dream will come true. This is awesome, you know. This is always my dream since I, since I could remember. I always wanted to go big Division I, you know, and my dream was to go to the NBA, so that, that's always been my dream, so hopefully, I can keep working at that goal and maybe I can make my dreams come reality. The NBA? Maybe someday Cohen could replace LeBron James on the Miami Heat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'll take it that far, but we'll see. For now, Cohen is content just where he is. So yeah, pretty rarefied air for Sandy be, to be getting this kind of attention. He hasn't even played his senior year yet. No, and uh, a couple years ago I was talking with John Murphy and he thought Sandy Cohen along with Dakota Oski could be the two best kids he's ever had. Cohen's well on his way because of, of what type of attention he's getting. He's going to have, I think I'm really looking forward to his senior year because with all this going on, he's going to have a lot to live up to locally, just proving it, and I think he's going to be able to do it. Well, he's great to see because, you know, he can go, get to the basket, he can shoot outside, he can yep. do a little bit of everything on the court. He's a 6'5 point guard, and I think that's what a lot of the, the, lo a lot of the college is like, is this kid, 6'5 long, an athlete, he can dunk, he, he, he's, he's going to play good defense when he has to. I think he's got a lot of, uh, his ceiling is really high. He, he's raw right now, but I think when he develops, I think he could be really special at the college level. Okay.